Hello friends please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the videos. Thank you for your support. Time to see if the Santa Cruz was worth the long gestation period. The 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz is coquettish. The Santa Cruz has been playing hard to get since we first laid eyes on the compact lifestyle truck concept at a 2015 auto show in Detroit. It created enough buzz that XX said it was a surefire addition to the company's car-heavy lineup. For years, I pestered Hyundai XX for updates on when it would go into production, I was intrigued by a five-passenger pickup that would drive like a car, be easy to park and fit in a garage, and still haul items to the dump and launch a fishing boat. I even picked the Santa Cruz as the truck I'd buy before even seeing the production version. Years went by, during which time Hyundai chiefs came and went, and the design team returned to the drawing board to update the look. Finally, six years later, the Santa Cruz got the green light from Korea and went into production in time to be a finalist for 2022 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. Then came word we were getting a 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz to evaluate for a year, and it would be based out of the Detroit office. Perfect chance for me, and the rest of our staff, to find out if this elusive truck would meet expectations. Motor Trend's new Santa Cruz is in sell with AWD and the premium package, making it the second highest trim level of four. There are a lot of standard features for the $37,425 base price, $38,020 as tested, thanks to a premium paint option and accessory floor mats. They include safety and driver assist systems like forward collision alert and blind spot monitoring, we'd have to have chosen the top rung on the trim ladder to get adaptive cruise control. Amenities include a power sunroof and factory-built lockable roll-up metal to no cover that makes the somewhat tiny four-foot truck bed infinitely more usable. The Santa Cruz also has a trunk in the bed floor, it's small but does keep grocery bags from sloshing around. There's also storage under the flip-up rear seats. Unlike the similarly sized Ford Maverick, our year-long Santa Cruz test vehicle doesn't have a full-size spare, at least it comes with a temporary compact spare. Here's hoping we don't need to test how temporary it actually is. Under the hood is the optional 2.5-liter turbocharged i4, which puts out 281 horsepower and 311 pounds to foot of torque. The four-cylinder is paired with an 8-speed twin-clutch automatic transmission with paddle shifters and standard track all-wheel drive. Drive modes include normal, smart, sport, and snow, which will certainly be put to the test this winter, though there's notably no tow-slash-haul mode. Although it's not an off-roader by any means, the Santa Cruz has hill descent assist and hill start assist control, and will will go in search of elevation to test their metal. As I live in Canada, I'm also looking forward to taking the Santa Cruz to the brutal cold north of Michigan to see how well the heated seats and side mirrors work, as well as the remote engine start. Hyundai doesn't offer a trailer hitch on the Santa Cruz, though it's rated to tow up to 5,000 pounds, but we'll be visiting our local U-Haul dealer to get one fitted. After all, my boat won't tow itself. We're all looking forward to seeing over the next year if the long wait for the Santa Cruz was worth it.